Hello and welcome. In our previous tutorial, we looked at uh, how to we created how to create a Django application, a Django project, and a Django application uh, in our local uh, uh, development environment or in our local setup here. So now we are we want to put this project in what you call under version control, and basically is uh, setting this project to you know to have a Git to be under Git in particular and we are going to as i had mentioned we're going to use github so our first step will be creating our, our github uh, the new repository and then i'll call my repository my website or my maybe i can call it my demo website so for the description i can call i can write demons Creating web development using Django, uh, Git, and Docker. Yeah, so you can uh, have a typo. So let me correct that. Demonstrating web development. So you can, it's optional as shown here. So you can leave it if you don't want to put some description. Uh, for in this case, I'll just leave the project as public so that anyone can access it. And then I will skip on adding a readme. I'll also skip on adding a git ignore. I'm going to add the, my, the git ignore, I'm going to add it manually. And I think also for the license. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create, click uh, create repository. And then, yeah, this is how it looks like. We already have the repo. And uh, this is the uh, uh, title my demo website. And then we have some notice or notification here. This is, if you want to clone it, you can use a git clone command for this. You can clone it using HTTPS or SSH. And it's also saying that you need to create, we need to create a new file, upload an existing file. And it, uh, it is highly recommended that whenever you have a git repository, you uh, include a readme so that people can see, you can read through and understand what you are, the project is about. You can add a license, there are various licenses uh, supported on GitHub, and then you can add a Git ignore. And there, are Git, there are specific Git ignores to language like this, a Git ignore for Python. But since I already have a Git ignore, somewhere I'm going to use it instead. So this is, a, we are going to use these uh, commands in our, our PyCharm. And uh, the first item is that it creates the readme, it initializes. So this git init uh, initializes of the project or the folder to be under a uh, git. Then you can add the readme and you can add all these other files. And then you can now link uh, using the remote add origin command. And then we can create a branch and push to that branch. So I won't go into the details of these commands. Uh, they are well uh, documented in the Git uh, Git documentation, but I can share in the link uh, the description. So I'll just proceed with uh, running some of these commands. So I'll, I'll set up PyCharm, which is still running on the background. So I'll just clear the screen and then side by side, and I'll just. Uh, Copy these commands as they are. Uh, what this does is that it creates a readme. And if you you'll realize that we have a readme that wasn't there in the folder in the directory tree. So we have it here. And then we are going to initialize So it says that it has initialized a Git repository in this folder. So there's a folder called .git. We cannot see it because it's hidden. Uh, then we can continue. We'll add the readme. And then we'll run a git commit. Uh, we can call it first commit or initial commit. See that something has happened here. It's saying that 
master root commit, one file changed and all that. And then we'll create a branch and we'll call it main. Initially it was, I think they were using master. I think there are still projects that are using master, but it was removed. And then we have the git uh, remote add origin. So this is what links the local repository to the remote uh, repo. So we'll add, and now when you have added this, there's a command that you know, you can use to check, that is git remote dash v, and you'll see that it shows where it is pointing to. And then I can push to that branch. And then when we have, now when we refresh this page, this information is gonna disappear. So we have pushed our initial commit and it only has the readme files. And uh, the next step that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create the, the git ignore. And that's why I did not push the whole folder because there are certain items like this dbsqlite, which is the database. We don't want our database uh, to be you know, shared publicly. Uh, and then there are other items that Similarly, we do not want like the Python, there are those pyc.pyc files. So I'm just going to refer to my, there's a repository that I had done. Okay, I'll just open the version. So I'll copy all this information. And I'm going to create a file that is called .git ignore. Dot .git ignore as one word. So if you're going to create it like I have done, make sure that you have typed the name correctly. So I'm just going to paste all this information here. And I can use git status to check any the files that are not under the repository. And you'll notice that it detects that there is a new file that has been created and a modified file. And all these other files are not under under the uh, git or they are not under version control so i'm just going to first of all add the git uh, add dot git ignore and then i'm going to git commit and add a comment or a message or a commit message and then i'll say added Git file. Yeah, and you'll notice that it has added the file, the, that particular file. So I'm just going to now do a git push. Then you're going to go back to the repository so that you can see what is happening. And you'll see that these, now we have the git ignore. And this is, in short, what this file does is that it tells the git which files to be ignored and uh, the files to be uh, all the files that are listed here they are ignored they're not going to be pushed into the repository okay so enough with that so now the other thing we are going to do is that we are going to now push the whole uh, folder or the whole django project and uh, before we do okay actually let's just push the whole folder there's something i would want to show you um git add all and i'll do a git commit and then i'll add a message just like i did before and i'll say uh, create created uh, my website project yeah so okay whenever you add messages you can add messages that some are somehow relevant so git commit or git push because i already added my commit message yep so let's whenever i let me refresh here yeah, there's something I wanted to demonstrate. I think whenever I'm not sure if I look under the security policies, uh, 
but I think I'm going to show you these later because there's some normally there's a file that is uh, the files that uh, have like the settings file has some credentials or some password uh, that is uh, is detected by something that is called a depender bot for GitHub. So uh, it, it is going to detect this file. It has some this password, yeah, or this secret key rather. Or, so there's a way that we are going to deal with it, but I think this one may come later. And uh, for now, uh, let's say we have been able to put our project under version control. And uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to see how we can uh, now put it under uh probably put it on a docker or we can see how we can probably extend our application because as of now it's just runs uh, shows the empty jungle uh, page we have not added any uh, pages or any uh, templates or views or what have you so that's it for this uh, uh, tutorial uh, if you like my content uh, please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel uh, for more content and then and uh, for uh, which also promotes the helps the algorithm uh, with my channel and uh, let's meet in the next tutorial uh, thank you for watching